Hi there. <laughs> it's so good to see you. You're just in time. Why don't you sign in first? If you have already, just pick your name from the list. Welcome to the Blue House. Hello from the Small Mouse. Things to do. Fun for you. Howdy from the Big Bear. Want some fun? Here's where. Just for you. All is new in the House of Blue. Lots of room at our house. Catch the moon at our house. Kitchen's here. Bathroom's there. Attic full of stuff here. Pillows full of fluff here. Just for you. In the House of Blue. Oh, <laughs> hi there. I was hoping it was you. Come on in. Wait a second. What's that smell? It smells like crayons. It's you! Ooh, tell me, were you just coloring something with your crayons? Cause you smell like crayons! <sighs> or maybe you just smell this good all the time. <laughs> bear! Hmm? A bear! Hey, that sounds like Ojo! Come on! Oh, hello there, Ojo! Uh, uh, Ojo? Uh, I'm not Ojo Bear, I'm Ojo Angelo. Ojo Angelo? <laughs> oh, Ojo Angelo, like Michelangelo, the famous painter and sculptor. Uh, oh, oh, no, 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 Bear. Hmm? Ojo Angelo, the world famous marker and crayon artist. <laughs> <laughs> oh, of course. <laughs> well, uh, what are you working on? Oh. Well, you know, that's sort of the problem, Bear. Nothing right now. Ojo Angelo has drawn everything that inspires her to create beautiful art. What shall I do? Hello? Might we suggest drawing us, Ojo Angelo? Well, you can find us in the bathroom. Don't you know? <laughs> have inspired artists for centuries. Now, here's a masterpiece for you. Cheese! <laughs> I'll be in the kitchen if you need me to pose for you some more, Ojo. Bye! Hoo-hoo! Time for the Trilo. Trilo in the bedroom. I bet your Angela went to draw. <laughs> well, they sure don't seem to be short of imagination, huh? And neither are you, Ojo. You just need another way of thinking about things. I know a simple way for making magic really happen A way to have the things you make believe seem true Without going anywhere you'll see exotic places And this is all you have to do <laughs> What do I do, Bear? Just think and see what you imagine It'll come to you quick as a wink Unmask a raccoon or pretend you're the moon all you have to do is think Just think you could color a sunset The clouds are magenta and pink See them float through the air hey, I can float with them there All you have to do is think Bear, just think We are under the ocean Ask a split, can we borrow some ink? Get ready, get set we won't even get wet. All we have to do is think. Just think. All right, Bear. Ojo Angelo, the world famous artist, is ready to stretch her imagination. <laughs> Great. Well, if you need any help, I'll be up in the attic doing some building. <laughs> Thank you, Bear. Well, maybe I'll visit you later, too.
Here, you can choose to leave the big blue house or return to the big blue house for more fun. Click on a room to go straight there or click on an activity button to go straight to the activity. My sketch pad doesn't have any pictures right now, but I'll let you know when it does. I bet that we can find some creative things to do in here. We keep, we keep lots of things we need in these cabinets. Tutter keeps his cheese down here. Wheels of Gouda, cheddar, and balls of mozzarella. Mm -mm. We keep lots of things we need in these cabinets. Tutter keeps his cheese down here. Wheels of Gouda, cheddar, and balls of mozzarella. Sometimes, I like to look at the outside of a cabinet and imagine how everything is stacked inside. It's nice to have the cabinets to keep the dishes in. That way, we always know where they are when we want to set the table. It's nice to have the cabinets to keep the dishes in. That way, we always know where they are when we want to set the table. I love spending time out here at the Otter Pond. Looking up at the sky, my mind just wanders. And, well, I, I can imagine just about anything. <laughs> oh. Bridges are great for getting across streams. Can you think of a, another way to get across? Maybe in a hot air balloon? I was full of bees, busily working and making one of my favorite things. Honey. Stretch our imaginations in the living room. Hmm. <gasps> Whoa! Cool stage! Uh <laughs> oh, hi, Ojo! Uh, thanks, but sadly it may be an empty stage. I don't have anyone to help me with the puppets for my little puppet show here. Oh, 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 um... um Mr. Director, hmm? would you mind if we helped you? What? <gasps> mind? What, what, what I mind? Wow, boy, I could really use the help of creative artists like yourselves. <laughs> well, let's get started. <laughs> boy, oh boy, is this going to be fun. We'll be putting on puppet shows, and each one's a fair 
fairy tale. Now you'll get to decide what the puppets do in each show. And best of all, these fairy tales will include some familiar faces from the big blue house. Oh, Mr. Director, sir, um, I, I, I can work some of the puppets and do some of the voices, but I'm pretty sure that they'll need some help. Oh, yes, yes, Ojo Angelo. I agree. Or not to worry. I'll be sure to get you some co-stars. I'll, I'll call them when the time comes. Click the fairy tale that you want to see. Oh, I like that one. But we're going to need beer for that one. Hey, beer! We need you for the puppet show! Okay, Mr. Director, I'm ready for my close-up. One last thing. We'll need your help moving a puppet around. Just click these buttons to move the puppet whose picture you see here. Now let's get on with the show. One day, Little Red Riding Hood's mother asked her to take some goodies to her sick grandmother. Little Red Riding Hood, Mom, you don't have to call me that. Oh, sorry, dear. Anyway, your grandma's sick today. Take her some goodies in your basket. Great idea. Later. So, Little Red Riding Hood set off for Grandma's house. But on the way, she had to go through the forest. Should she meet a wolf? Should she meet Bear? Should she pick some berries on the way? Hello, little girl. Who are you and where are you going? You're sure a nosy wolf. But if you must know, I'm off to my grandma's house. She's a little sick today. Ha, ah, isn't that sweet. Bye. So Little Red Riding Hood kept walking to grandma's house. But she didn't know that the wolf set off for grandma's house too. Should the wolf meet Bear? Should grandma be home alone? Should Little Red Riding Hood meet Bear? Hello. Oh, Mr. Wolf, it's so nice to see you. Do you know my friend Bear? Wow, a big orange bear. A friend told me that Grandma was sick, so I thought I'd stop by. So the wolf and bear kept Grandma company until Little Red Riding Hood arrived. And that was only minutes later. Should the wolf have a surprise for Grandma? Should Bear have a surprise for Grandma? Should the wolf have a surprise for Little Red Riding Hood? Grandma, what a large number of guests you have. You sure got here fast. I'm super fast. But guess what? I brought your grandma some flowers. Ah, <sighs> and they sure smell great. Something else smells great, and I think it's your basket. Let's eat. The end. To see the show from the beginning, click this button. Or, if you want to pick a fairy tale to start over, click here. If you'd like to print the puppets from this fairy tale, click here. Now, if you want to play music during the performance, click one of these buttons. On with the show! One day, Little Red Riding Hood's mother asked her to take some goodies to her sick grandmother. Little Red Riding Hood? Mom, you don't have to call me that. Oh, sorry, dear. Anyway, your grandma's sick today. Take her some goodies in your basket. Great idea. Later. So, Little Red Riding Hood set off for Grandma's house. But on the way, she had to go through the forest. Hello, little girl. Who are you and where are you going? You're sure a nosy wolf. But if you must know, I'm off to my grandma's house. She's a little sick today. Ha, ah, isn't that sweet? Bye. So Little Red Riding Hood kept walking to Grandma's house. But she didn't know that the wolf set off for Grandma's house too. Hello. Oh, Mr. Wolf, it's so nice to see you. Do you know my friend Bear? Wow, a big orange bear. A friend told me that Grandma was sick, so I thought I'd stop by. So the wolf and bear kept Grandma company until Little Red Riding Hood arrived. And that was only minutes later.
Grandma, what a large number of guests you have. You sure got here fast. I'm super fast. But guess what? I brought your grandma some flowers. Ah, <sighs> and they sure smell great. Something else smells great, and I think it's your basket. Let's eat. Print the puppets. Now, now, if you want to play music during the performance, click one of these. This activity gave me another idea for my sketch pad. Take a look. Click. The smell of grease paint, the roar of the crowd. You like it too? Oh boy, well then, on with the show! <laughs> Click the fairy tale that you want to see. Oh, I like that one, but we're going to need beer for that one. Hey, beer! We need you for the puppet show! Okay, Mr. Director, I'm ready for my close-up. One day, Little Red Riding Hood's mother asked her to take some goodies to her sick grandmother. Little Red Riding Hood? Mom, you don't have to call me that. Oh, sorry, dear. Anyway, your grandma's sick today. Take her some goodies in your basket. Great idea. Later. So, Little Red Riding Hood set off for Grandma's house. But on the way, she had to go through the forest. Should she meet a wolf? Should she meet Bear? Should she pick some berries on the way? Have you been baking today? Because you smell like cookies. Or do you always smell this good? Boy, you're good. I'm on my way to my grandma's house. She's a little sick today. You are a good granddaughter. By the way, my name is Bear. That's a good name for you. I'm Little Red Riding Hood. To walk with Little Red Riding Hood to her grandma's house. Should Little Red Riding Hood and Bear run into a wolf? Should Little Red Riding Hood and Bear pick flowers? Should Grandma have a guest? <sighs> What's that smell? Oh, it's flowers. I bet your grandma would love some fresh flowers. Cool idea, Bear. So, Little Red Riding Hood and Bear picked Grandma some flowers and then headed off for her house. But what they didn't know is that a wolf followed them and then sneaked on ahead to Grandma's house. Should Bear and Little Red Riding Hood get a surprise? Should Grandma get flowers? Should Grandma have a surprise? Look, Grandma, my friend Bear and I picked you some flowers. I saw you pick those flowers. I thought it was such a good idea. I thought I'd pick your grandma some flowers. Cool! <laughs> <laughs> the end! Pick a fairy tale. To see the show from the beginning, click this button. Or, if you want to pick a fairy tale to start over, Click here. Click the fairy tale that you want to see. That's my favorite fairy tale because I'm in it. <laughs> this will be fun. I'll get to direct and star in the show. Oh, my dream come true. <laughs> One day, Mother Pig decided it was time for her three little pigs to move out on their own. Well, my three little pigs, it's time you moved out on your own. Okay, Mama Pig. I'm off to build a house of straw. Bye. Sure thing, Mama Pig. I'm off to build a house of logs. Bye. No problem, Mama Pig. I'm off to build a house of bricks. Bye. Wow, they sure wasted no time. Now, Tutter the Mouse, uh, <laughs> me that is, happened to be friends with the three little pigs. So, he decided to pay them a visit. When he got to the house of the first little pig, who should be there but the big bad wolf who was getting ready to try and blow the house down? Should the house remain standing? Should the house be blown down? Should the wolf want Tutter instead of the pigs?
Oh, you're getting ready to blow the house down! What? It's not right! It's just not right, I tell ya! Hey, who needs pigs? I got a mouse right here! Oh, hickory dickory! Time for me to scram! Ah! The next day, the wolf decided to look for Tutter at the house of the second little pig. Should Tutter be afraid? Should Tutter be brave? Should Tutter feel sad for the wolf? There you are. I wonder where you'd be hiding. Oh, you poor old wolf. Oh, you must have had a rough life having to scare people all the time. Well, if you ever want to talk about it, nobody's a better listener than a mouse. O okay? Uh, okay. Thanks. Next day, the wolf decided to go to the house of the third little pig. And, of course, Tutter was there. Should Tutter trick the wolf? Should the pigs be nice to the wolf? Should Tutter surprise the wolf? Time to blow down the house. You know, wolf, I think that what you really need is a friend. Ta-da! Hello, Mr. Wolf. How nice to meet you. I'm Bear. I've never had a friend before. Thanks, Mouse. Aw, <laughs> no problemo. Hmm. The end. Print the puppets. To see it, click the fairy tale that you want. That's my favorite fairy tale. Because I'm in it. <laughs> This'll be fun. I'll get to direct and star in the show. Oh, my dream come true. <laughs> One day, Mother decided it was time for her three little pigs to move out on their own. Well, my three little pigs, it's time you moved out on your own. Okay, Mama Pig. I'm off to build a house of straw. Bye. Sure thing, Mama Pig. I'm off to build a house of logs. Bye. No problem, Mama Pig. I'm off to build a house of bricks. Bye. Wow, they sure wasted no time. Now, Tutter the Mouse, uh, <laughs> me that is, happened to be friends with the three little pigs. So, he decided to pay them a visit. When he got to the house of the first little pig, who should be there but the big bad wolf who was getting ready to try and blow the house down? Should the house remain standing? Should the house be blown down? Should the wolf... Now you listen, wolf! This house is brand new! Well, blowing it down is really mean! I don't care. I'm the big bad wolf. <sighs> this looks bad for me. See you, Tutter. The wolf decided to go to the second little pig's house. Naturally, Tutter followed. Should the second little pig stand up to the wolf? Should the second little pig be scared? Should the second little pig surprise the wolf? Time to blow down the house. Oh, Tutter, that big bad wolf has me pretty scared. Oh, hickory dickory. Oh, I'd be scared too. <gasps> Wait, I got an idea. Let's go to your brother's brick house. Great idea, my little blue friend. <laughs> yeah, well, what can I say? <laughs> Next day, the wolf decided to go to the house of the third little pig. And, of course, Tutter was there. Should Tutter scare the wolf? Should the pig scare the wolf? Should the third little pig stand up to the wolf? Time to blow down the house. Boo! 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 <laughs> Good plan, Tutter. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> Super smart mouse, that's me. <laughs> the end. Pick a fairy tale. To see the show from the beginning, click this button. Or click the fairy tale that you want to see. Oh, very good choice. Oh, but we're going to need Pip and Pop for that one. Hey, Pip! Hey, Pop! Well, we need you for the puppet show! Pip and Pop! Ready, ready for, for action, action, sir! Once upon a time, there was a beautiful young woman named Rapunzel who lived in a tower with a mean-looking old witch. 
Tell me, witch, will I ever leave this tower? Rapunzel, you have no friends, and I'm a witch. What do you think? Just thought I'd ask. One day, Pip and Pop were out on a walk, and they saw the tower. And in the tower window, they saw the beautiful Rapunzel. Should Pip and Pop have a plan? Should Pip and Pop want to be friends with Rapunzel? Should Pip and Pop talk to the witch? Oh, <gasps> look, Pop, a witch! She must be the one trapping Rapunzel. Witch, please let Rapunzel out of the tower. No, I'm a witch and I'm mean. So, when Pip and Pop weren't watching, the witch called for Rapunzel to let her hair down. She climbed up the tower and climbed back down a few minutes later. Should Rapunzel be stubborn? Should Pip and Pop scare the witch? Should Pip and Pop be nice to the witch? You know, witch, I think your warts are kind of cool. Really? You mean it? Oh, you betcha. And I wish I had toad breath like you. Hey, you purple authors are nice. Just for that, you can go see Rapunzel. All right! So, the witch spoke the secret words, and in no time at all, Rapunzel's hair was coming out of the tower. Should the witch be in a very good mood? Should Rapunzel be shy? Should the witch have a surprise? <laughs> you authors have put me in a good mood. Let's have a party. Ooh, ooh, really? A party? Party? We love parties! The end. See the puppet show. To see the show from the beginning, click this button. Or, if you want to pick now, if you want to play music during the performance, click one of these buttons. On with the show! Once upon a time, there was a beautiful young woman named Rapunzel, who lived in a tower with a mean-looking old witch. Tell me, witch, will I ever leave this tower? Rapunzel, you have no friends, and I'm a witch. What do you think? Just thought I'd ask. One day, Pip and Pop were out on a walk, and they saw the tower. And in the tower window, they saw the beautiful Rapunzel. Oh, look, Pop, a witch! She must be the one trapping Rapunzel. Witch, please let Rapunzel out of the tower. No, I'm a witch and I'm mean. So, when Pip and Pop weren't watching, the witch called for Rapunzel to let her hair down. She climbed up the tower and climbed back down a few minutes later. You know, witch, I think your warts are kind of cool. Really? You mean it? Oh, you betcha. And I wish I had toad breath like you. Hey, you purple authors are nice. Just for that, you can go see Rapunzel. All right. So, the witch spoke the secret words, and in no time at all, Rapunzel's hair was coming out of the tower. <laughs> you authors have put me in a good mood. Let's have a party. Ooh, ooh, really? A party? Party? We love parties! The end. Pick a fairy tale. Now that... Click the fairy tale. Oh, very good choice. Oh, but we're gonna need Pip and Pop for that one. Hey, Pip! Hey, Pop! Well, we need you for the puppet show! Pip and Pop! Ready, ready for, for action, action, sir! Once upon a time, there was a beautiful young woman named Rapunzel who lived in a tower with a mean-looking old witch. Tell me, witch, will I ever leave this tower? Rapunzel, you have no friends, and I'm a witch. What do you think? Just thought I'd ask. One day, Pip and Pop were out on a walk, and they saw the tower. And in the tower window, they saw the beautiful Rapunzel. Should Pip and Pop have a plan? Should Pip and Pop want to be friends with Rapunzel? Should Pip and Pop talk? Pop, that woman in the tower looks lonely and trapped. You're right, Pip. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Let's rescue her! I think we're going to need some help, though. Let's get that prince guy. He's pretty handy. So Pip and Pop 
found their friend the prince and told him about Rapunzel. Should the prince have a catapult? Should they climb the tower wall? Should the prince call for Rapunzel? Guess what? I have a thing that hurls stuff through the air. You mean a catapult? How did you know? We're super smart, super smart utters! Now we can hurl ourselves through Rapunzel's window. Time to fly! So the prince got his catapult, and they launched themselves right through Rapunzel's window. Should they all make a rope? Should Rapunzel be afraid? Should Rapunzel surprise Pip and Pop? Oh no! Purple otters! Please, otters, don't bite me! We're here to rescue you! Oh, well, why didn't you say so? How will we get down? We can't use the catapult from up here. My mattress! We'll throw it out the window and jump down on it. <laughs> Rapunzel, you rock! The end! Pick a fairy tale! To see the show from the beginning, click this button. Or, if you want... <laughs> it's fun, but... The smell of grease paint, the roar of the crowd! You like it, too? Oh, boy, well then, on with the show! <laughs> click the fairy tale that you want to see. Oh, that's a good fairy tale, but we'd need Trilo for that one. Hey, Trilo! We need you for the puppet show! Trilo here, ready for the purple show. <laughs> Once upon a time, there were three bears who were getting ready to have breakfast. Time for breakfast. Who wants porridge? Porridge? Yay! Porridge sounds good, but it looks hot. Let's take a walk. Now, as it turns out, someone else was in the bear's neighborhood that day. Our good friend, Trilo. Should Trilo go in the bear's house? Should Trilo meet the bears? Should Trilo meet Goldilocks? Oh, pretty hair. Uh, me, Trilo. What's your name? I'm Goldilocks. Wow, I love your green fur. You're beautiful. <laughs> Let's take a walk. So they walked for a bit, and before you knew it, they were in the bear's neighborhood. Should Goldilocks and Trilo not go in the house? Should Trilo get upset? Should Goldilocks and Trilo go into the house? I have an idea. Let's sneak in this house. And that no sneaking houses, <laughs> said Goldilocks. Good point, monkey. Just then, the bears returned home from their walk. Should Baby Bear want to play? Should Goldilocks and Trilo leave? Should Trilo invite the bears to breakfast? You must be our new neighbors. Want to come in for porridge? Mm, Trilo love porridge, but we go to that friend's house in Big Blue House down the street. Okay, maybe another time. The end. Pick a fairy tale. Click the fairy tale. Oh, that's a good fairy tale, but we need Trilo for that one. Hey, Trilo! We need you for the puppet show! Trilo here, ready for the purple show. <laughs> Once upon a time, there were three bears who were getting ready to have breakfast. Time for breakfast. Who wants porridge? Porridge? Yay! Porridge sounds good, but it looks hot. Let's take a walk. Now, as it turns out, someone else was in the bear's neighborhood that day. Our good friend, Trilo. Should Trilo go in the bear's house? Should Trilo meet the bears? Should Trilo meet Goldilocks? Ojo? Huh, nobody home. Trilo sleepy. Take nap. Not much later, a little girl named Goldilocks came and let herself into the house. Should Goldilocks wake up Trilo? Should Goldilocks be scared? 
Should Goldilocks let Trilo sleep? Ooh, a green sleeping monkey. He looks nice. I think I'll cook him some breakfast. Just then, the bears returned home from their walk. And with all the commotion, of course, Trilo woke up. Should Goldilocks explain herself? Should everybody be afraid? Should the bears know Goldilocks? Goldilocks, what are you doing here? Hi, Mrs. B. I came over to invite Baby Bear to my birthday party next week. Birthday party? Oh, that sounds nice. Why don't you and your friends stay and have some porridge with us? Mmm, porridge, lemon. The end. Now, if you want to play music during the performance, click one of these buttons. On with the show! Once upon a time, there were three bears who were getting ready to have breakfast. Time for breakfast. Who wants porridge? Porridge? Yay! Porridge sounds good, but it looks hot. Let's take a walk. Now, as it turns out, someone else was in the bear's neighborhood that day. Our good friend, Trilo. Bear! Aren't you? Hmm. Nobody home. Trilo, sleepy. Take nap. Not much later, a little girl named Goldilocks came and let herself into the house. A green sleeping monkey. He looks nice. I think I'll cook him some breakfast. Just then, the bears returned home from their walk. And with all the commotion, of course, Trilo woke up. Goldilocks, what are you doing here? Hi, Mrs. B. I came over to invite Baby Bear to my birthday party next week. Birthday party? Oh, that sounds nice. Why don't you and your friends stay and have some porridge with us? The end. Print the puppets. Look, I have a new picture in my sketch pad. I love looking out the window and up at the sky and thinking about where the clouds go. Those are fun for making things like castles or boats that sail away. The smell of grease paint, the roar of the crowd. You like it too? Click the fairy tale that you. Mm. I. This is a globe of our planet Earth. Sometimes I just like to point at a place on it and imagine what it's like to be there. Next page.